Hi, I'm Tony's assistant Jennifer here at Aline's. We're going to have a great show today, so stick around. Get ready to craft with us at Aline's Creative Living, because today we're going to discover exciting new cross-stitch ideas. These are featured in this month's magazine. And we want to know if you have all your Christmas crafting done yet. Well, if you don't, stay tuned, because we've got some easy ideas using the Xyron machine. And we're also going to get ready for Santa with a beautiful metallic sleigh. We're going to check out some new scrapbooking papers that will complement your special memories. And we'll show you how to earn extra money painting windows. We're starting off today's show with some embellished pins. And so let's get the show on the road. Have you seen those pretty little Victorian pins in the boutiques and gift shops? Well, we have some with us today, and we're going to show you how to make them, aren't we, Marlene? This is a, a neat design from Heidi, and she's done these with some really beautiful uh, Victorian-type wrapping paper. Well, it all depends on your paper, doesn't it, it as does. to what your look is going to be. Right. This has been embellished, hasn't it? Yeah, and you know what we're doing with this is using the stick and hold mm -hmm. and um, just cutting a piece of the paper right. to make the pin like we have here. Uh -huh. Well, both of these have just wrapping paper on yes. them. Yes, and the hummingbird is beautiful. It is. My mother would love this. She's crazy for hummingbirds. Now, Marlene, you should have worn that one today. That would yeah. match your sweater really nice. you should really have worn nice. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get started and see how you did this. Okay, I just cut a piece of sticking hole in a piece of paper that is a little larger than what my button's going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, I'm going to peel off the backing, and I'm just scoring the stick and hold, okay. and then bending it back, and that way it makes it easier to peel. Aha! Uh -huh. And then before I peel the rest off, I like to get this top part put down onto it. Okay. Because it is really sticky, yes. and sometimes it's really hard to peel it off if you just have your fingers all over mm -hmm. it. A stick and hold is so good for this. Let's go over here and look at these other two while you do that. Okay. Those little ones are made with uh, button hole, uh, no, button covers. Button, button covers, covers right. Uh -huh. That is so clever, and they're just a little bit smaller with the same idea. Okay, okay. now I've just pressed this down good, and uh -huh. I have a piece that I've already started here that is just like this now. And I've taken my button and just laid it down and traced around it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut it out now about a half inch larger than where I traced. Okay. And you don't have to be exact on this because this is all going to be folded over to the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then again we're going to score it. This is one of the best things to know about stick and hold. It is. <laughs> and then when you peel it off, then you're just going to lay your button on this. Okay. And start folding it over to the back side, and then it'll just stick. And I usually go from one side and then go to the other side, uh -huh. and then just work around, kind of like in quarters. Yes. And that way you don't have as many wrinkles. Okay. Okay. And I have one here that I've already got to this point. Mm -hmm. And then after you get it all folded in, I glued some lace around it. Now you could do any kind of trim. You could use the, the braids, you know, mm -hmm. or any of your pretty trims that you find. Just whatever you happen to have in your craft drawer. Okay. Okay, and then we'll just start embellishing it, and this is the fun part. Oh, yes. You know, I, I have a bow that I tied, and we'll start with it. Okay. And I'll just put it down here. And then I just picked out just a bunch of stuff that I had in a drawer to Ooh. put in. You want to play? How pretty, of course. <laughs> just How tell me where you want some glue. Right there in the center, and we'll put this pretty little uh, charm with the hand in it. You know, it's like you said, Marlene, that you could go to your crafting drawer and just make all kinds of things from your little leftover goodies, couldn't you? Oh, that's right. You can do bread dough roses even. How about underneath that hand? Okay. Ooh, bread dough roses, of course. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. Do you know, on a show uh, recently, I was with right Aline, there. and we did some uh, dough roses. Uh, that was my first. I had not done the bread dough roses. Oh, really? No. Oh, I love it. <laughs> How about another one right here? This is fun to do with a friend, Marlene. It really is. These, these would be nice little boutique items. 
Yes, they would. And I was thinking you could even use a photograph, like a, a grandchild's photograph, and make a pin for the grandmother. Oh, wouldn't that be neat? That would or be badges, nice. you know, like your first place badges for some of your uh, groups, like yes. at schools and so on. You could do logos and put on. There's just so many you ways sure that you could, could go with this. All right. Well, we've got a great little kit today. It's the stick and hold, and you receive. It's a 13 and a half inch by 30 inch sheet. That's enough to do a hold. lot of projects. Yes, it <laughs> is. Well, this has been really fun. I want to go over here one more time and look at this hummingbird pen because it's done just a little bit differently. She only put the embellishments on the base of that one, and it's done just with the satin embellishments mm -hmm. and a few little. Uh, buttons and pearls. Silk roses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that keeps it a little more tidy for that contemporary. It does. One, doesn't it? Right. Well, this has been fun. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. The Aline's Creative Living magazine is full of projects just like this. And joining me is Joan. You're going to tell us all about the magazine, aren't you? We have so many projects. We have a great feature. This month is needlework, and we're going to show you a whole array of different things that you can do with that little needle that you've got at home. Okay, well now I have seen some really interesting things out here. <laughs> Tell me about these cards first. This is great. Bucilla has come up with this new project, and we're featuring it here. They haven't shown it to anybody oh, else out really? there. Oh, so, really? Yes. <laughs> it's called Creating with a Full Deck. There are 52 cards in here. I see that. And it is going to show you how to create great things with cross stitch. Ooh. You can see here is the completed cross stitch project mm -hmm. and you flip it over and there's the little graph to show you how to do it. You're also going to notice here that there, these are real playing cards. Oh, this is You can is play cool. with these. See, aren't these great? They have yes. so many different themes. We have monograms and <sighs> cats and borders, all kinds of great things. But then we also, the joker cards are, mm -hmm. show you the basic stitches on how to do cross stitch. How neat. And we have some projects here today. The basket is so clever and the pillow is beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And you can take these and just by using different sizes of the Ada cloth, mm -hmm. you can uh, make your project bigger or smaller than these. Oh, this is, a, th this is really clever. This would make a great gift idea. Now, wouldn't it be fun to make the project and give the cards with the gift? Oh, it would be wonderful. Yes. And, and the cards are inexpensive too, so. Well, tell us some more, Joan. More more, more, more. Yes. We have this great um, beaded lamp kit, and this is by Firefly Embroideries and Beading, mm -hmm. and it is absolutely gorgeous. Everything is in there that you need to make a lamp cover, I and see. They, and you can take those on and off of your lampshade so that um, you can change them for the different seasons oh. or for your decor. What a great idea. Now, these are just features that are in the right. magazine, right? right? The needlework feature that we're doing in the November uh -huh. issue. Right, and so then we have this great book called yes, Socks, great. Socks, Socks. <laughs> and um, there are so many different socks. They had a contest, and so they selected the winners, and um, they put mm -hmm. them in the book. There are great instructions. There's even on page 95. You've a got pair this memorized. Of, yes, I do, because it's so much fun. A pair of socks made out of strands of licorice. No way. <laughs> it's right there. I love that idea. But what else do oh, we have? Then we this have. This stocking is beautiful. This was created by DMC. They have such wonderful floss colors. They have over 400 colors. And the thing is, they never delete any of their colors. So if you have like a 50 year old <gasps> chart that calls for DMC embroidery floss, you know that you can go mm -hmm. to your store and find that. Wow, that is a great thing to know. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, uh, we have the cards? wonderful cards. Lauren Johnston, you can tell of her course. style. These are so elegant and mm -hmm. beautiful. This is an excellent technique. It's something different. It's using stick and hold and crumpled up um, crafting foil. Really? And then a little bit of embossing powder. I, I would never have guessed. Uh, me either. That no. Very expensive looking card, but mm -hmm. you can create it in a few minutes. Fabulous. Okay, let's see. We've got a little book, don't we? We have a little book, right, that Lauren oh, yeah, it's created right here. again. Isn't this beautiful? It's yes. a little accordion book. And she has written like little poetry or little sweet nothings inside of there. Aww. But it's very easy to do creating uh, using tissue paper. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And then the corkboard dog is right. so cute. Very easy to do. Just cut out your cork in the shape that you want. And mm -hmm. you can even make some little shrink it thumbtacks there so <laughs> that you can make it. Um, uh, great design for a kid's room. Love it. And you know what? Something that really caught my eye when I came out to look at this is the fruit boxes. <laughs> these are beautiful. Using the box maker, Catherine created these. Mm. And um, what's great about the magazine, we have full-size patterns. We, yes. we don't leave anything out for you to create these great projects. Right. And then the next box is 
just extraordinary. Cheryl Ball created that. Isn't it beautiful? Really? I love those colors. Uh, wouldn't it be great to show up to somebody's house with a cute gift inside of mm -hmm. theirs? Just so inviting and so beautiful. Definitely. Now, this is the magazine we're talking about. Right. You get to be the editor, don't you? <laughs> I've been doing that for a few months now, and it's been so much fun and great to see all these neat projects. I love the covers, too, Joan. The photography is always so exquisite in these magazines. Thank you. I'll pass that along to our photography department. All right. And there are great articles in this magazine also. Right. We have Changing Lives that... Tell us, our viewers, how crafting has changed people's lives. It's a wonderful article. Well, if you want to know more about the Aline's family, the magazine is the perfect place to look. Thank you so much for this great magazine, Joan. You're welcome, Beth. Now, coming up next, we'll make Christmas crafts with a Xyron machine. I hope you're ready for this project today because Solange Whitehead is here from Xyron, and we're going to put sticky adhesive on fabric and glass and cork and I don't know what else, Solange. All kinds of stuff, and then we'll stick it to all kinds of different surfaces. Now, for these projects, I've enlisted the help of Kim Berry, a rubber stamp artist. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go pretty quick, but we have the instructions available. Well, these are so cute. You've got like a little cookie uh, bag with mm -hmm. a label and a great little candy jar with a label on it. And check out this chalkboard. Yeah, we have all kinds of great projects. And it, it's involving rubber stamping, but you can use clip art. You can use anything else, too old cards to decorate. And I love how you use the metal on this little box back here with the poinsettia. That is so pretty. Yeah, I'll show you how to do all of those things. Okay, well let's get started. Yeah, let's start with the, how about the candy jar? Okay. Well actually all the little items I'm using are small and I don't want to waste any adhesive, so I'm going to turn them all into stickers simultaneously. Okay. And then we'll use them separately. Now, I just line them up in the back. Mm -hmm. I flipped this little um, Put this little piece right here over so I could get access to the rollers. Okay. And I just turn. Now this isn't heated or plugged into anything, right? No, it's just a little six pound <laughs> I machine. Love that. <laughs> yeah, I could throw it in your closet. You can do it outside. <laughs> Wonderful. It's really portable. Okay. So now you've got these uh, what, tell me about this now. What is it now? Well, now these, there's no adhesive outside, uh -huh. but underneath is oh, where the adhesive okay. is. So let's start by peeling off one of the pieces of cork. And you can see yes. how easy that comes off and it's just throughout. It's lovely. And just stick it right onto your jar. And they've just had a rubber stamp on the front. That's right. And embossed and now it's uh, the adhesive. Now this, I, I just wanted to show how easy it is to layer. There's so many different, I'm going to put the cork onto paper and mm -hmm. then I'm going to go ahead and put that onto to this paper, but before I do that, I want to show you a little trick. Okay. I'm going to make this a sticker, too. Are you really? Yeah. Because <laughs> that'll help me close my bag of cookies. I never know what you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these were Kim's ideas, and they were so good that I thought we should show everybody. Now, the gingerbread's on a piece of metal cut out, isn't he? Um, yeah. And that's what's so nice is you can run metal, plastic, even the shrinky dink. There's all kinds yes. of neat stuff you can make sticky if you okay. need to. Okay. Just put that right down here. Uh huh. Now I have my bag of cookies. Watch this. Oh, I think I know what you're gonna do now. I think it you probably me do. It takes me a minute to catch up. <laughs> yeah, you can line, put the cookies right on top. Yes. Yeah, that's perfect. And then right. seal. Oops, got your finger. Oh yes. There you go, and you can see how quick and easy those. And again, this, what a great gift! You know, metal. You just run it through like anything else, mm -hmm. and it becomes a sticker. Yeah. And that's what we used on the box as well. Oh, okay. So, so that's all you have to do to do the little flower on the box. Is that a rubber stamp then, with a on mm -hmm. cork? On cork. I yeah, see. she was definitely using a lot of cork. Yes. Well. Let's finish. Speaking of course, yeah. yes. <laughs> Let's not stop. <laughs> Let's bring this over here. Okay, well, this chalkboard is adorable. Right, now buttons. I think I've done buttons on this show yes, before. Yes, that just blows me away. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Here, okay. Let's get them in there and turn the handle. Oh, yes. That one's kind of thick. There we go. If it's thick, just push it on through. Okay. And then peel away. I love this button idea, oh, I don't Solange. Know. And let's just decorate. 
Okay. Let's see, I put this one on and it's not gonna wow. budge. Yeah, it sits on there pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now back to our cork. Yes. I'm gonna add a sticker real quick. Aha! Uh -huh. Now there's other ways that you can use the machine too, other than just stickers. That's right, it has laminate, it mm -hmm. has repositionable adhesive. Okay. I can't wait. Okay, <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on here, but we're gonna have some adhesive exposed. Okay. And that's where you're gonna help me put glitter. Oh boy. So I'm gonna put that on there. Okay. Now, you I'll can see. this tray over here. You'd have sticky fingers, so just put glitter on. There you go. And now you don't have any adhesive exposed. That is a great idea. And it's pretty. It is beautiful. Now this would make a great gift or just to dress up your own little right. kitchen during the holidays. Right. And it can be, you can use that same concept on cards or anything. Anytime mm -hmm. you have exposed adhesive, just go ahead and put a little glitter down. Okay. Well, let's talk about this for a minute. Okay. This really caught my eye because as I was thumbing through here, I saw some great recipes, but you know what? The back really interested me too. This is dedicated to Harry and Agnes Snyder. Now tell me what your idea is on this. Well, one of our um, customers actually sent this to us and it's a great idea. You know, we give candy jars and cookies away at the holidays. Yes. Well, most of us the, in the younger generation, what we really <laughs> need is the recipe. Right. So just type your recipes out, either on a computer or even handwrite them. Okay. And laminate them. Oh. So when you send the cookies, send us the recipes, please. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? And you can bind them. And our laminate, it sticks throughout, so you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about the laminate coming up right. if you cut to the edge of your book. Now I can be as messy as I want in my kitchen. Right. That's the other thing. <laughs> so you can just clean that very easily. What else have you got to show us? Well, I wanted to show another just another material onto another material, which is fabric. And oh, okay. We do do that a lot, but it's such a great use of this machine. If you're doing quilting or any kind of home decor, uh -huh. make sure to run your fabric swatches through and turn them into stars. Oh, so is this washable? Yeah, now what you would do if you're gonna wash is you stitch it. Oh, okay. And then you can dry clean. Oh, okay. And but if you're not going to wash, like with this gift bag, mm -hmm. and you can see this takes about a half a second, it doesn't take long at all, is it won't fall off. Mm -hmm. It will stay on unless you wash. Okay. But unlike some of the iron-on products, it's not at all thick. Oh, it isn't. So for clothing. Feels good. Yeah, just mm -hmm. stitch it right on, and then you can dry clean too. Well, tell me about your kit today. Okay, you get the machine. And you get 25 feet of laminate, Wow. 25 feet of adhesive, and that's acid free, so if you're doing scrapbooking, mm -hmm. and you get an idea book and a $10 gift certificate. Oh, right. Well, it's a super value. That $10 Aline's gift certificate mm -hmm. is just an added bonus today. And yeah. we've got uh, cartridges that you can buy singly, don't we? Yeah. Now, we show just the acid free adhesive. Mm -hmm. We talked about the double sided laminate. Right. We also have repositionable adhesive. It's oh. a cartridge you load in just like any of the others. Mm -hmm. But it's a great way to do like wall borders around the house. Yes. Or a if Christmas you're going to. Every holiday you want to yes. decorate. And I've seen you do stencils this way. Stencils, that's a, another great idea. Mm -hmm. Like I say, let your kids take their artwork or whatever artwork they want and hang it on their walls without, you know, worrying about them oh, ruining the surface. Great idea. You could do the corners of a poster and, and put those up in your room and it not mess up the wall. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, wall board. This is a super way to do wall borders. Now, I've seen you change the cartridges. But there's probably some people out there that haven't seen you do that yet. Yeah. Let's show them how Let's, easy that is. When you get your machine, it comes with this little clip. And this clip helps you change the cartridge. All you do is you take off the tray, mm -hmm. you wind it back a little bit, and you pull out your cartridge. All right. So you're left with just a little machine and your cartridge. Okay. When you're ready to load your cartridge, use that clip. It's in a little pouch on the side of the machine. All right. Put it on right here in the middle. That looks so funny. <laughs> I know, but it sure makes it easier. Yes. Just line that up in there and turn. Now, do you have to be at the end of the roll to change it? Absolutely not. Okay. You can change the cartridges back and forth all Anytime. day. So you don't need more than one machine. You just need one machine and lots of cartridges. Right. 
got you ready to go. Okay. Don't lose your clip for next time. All right. Now the projects are all in the self-addressed stamped envelope. Mm -hmm project sheet and so they can learn on all these things. All the details that we didn't cover in the show. Okay and I have just had a ball with this. This has been so much fun. It's been great fun but having a long time to talk about it and see it all being yeah. done. Well I hope all the all the people out there get a chance to do some of these projects. I'm sure they will. Thanks so much Solange Stay because Catherine will be here to share some creative spirit. When you're making buttonholes Always use a cutting mat so you don't dull your blade. This also will prevent your work surface from getting damaged. Welcome back to Aline's Creative Living. If you're looking for new ideas, you are in the right place. Coming up, we have a variety of crafts ranging from elegant things to funky and fun projects. But right now, I'm going to go cook up some creative spirit. Got my right. apron on and everything. All right. You going to do something fun? Yeah. See All you in a right. <laughs> We'll glide into the holidays with an elegant sleigh filled with metallic ornaments, capture memories with exciting new scrapbooking papers, and add oomph to windows for fun or profit. But first, it's time for Catherine's creative spirit. Today, Catherine's cooking up a tea party. I thought it was time for a little bit of tea, and I want to show you how you can have a tea party in your home whenever you want. This is the most delightful little kit. This is tea cups and tea pots that you can create and make your own cookies. Little girls of all ages are gonna just love this and it's really fun to do. Now with the kit today, you do get a tea cup a teapot cookie cutter and you know I'm a collector I love to collect cookie cutters so this is a lot of fun it also comes with a tea bag and a little lace doily and a sugar cookie recipe now I haven't tried that one I used the sugar cookie recipe that I shared with you a while ago so you can check the website for that cookie recipe now open stock we have a little tea cup that you can decorate and make it have a cookie cutter, a tea bag, and also once again the doily. So let me show you how to do this. Use whatever um, sugar cookie recipe works for you and I know you know that I really like my recipe. Roll it out. I'm rolling it out on the applique pressing sheet which is great, or excuse me, the cook easy sheet. And what I like about that is I can use my cookie cutter, I can cut out my shapes. This is a really good tip. Whenever I'm doing a lot of cookies and sometimes you know it's hard to pick them up and get them onto the cookie sheet what I do is I cut them out and then I just peel away everything so I don't have to actually lift up my delicate cookie and have it lose its shape and then I can just roll the excess cookie dough out another time and make more cookies but I can put the cook easy sheet right on my cookie sheet and plop it in the oven for about eight minutes well when they're done I simply take some powdered sugar mix it with a little water food coloring I like to add some almond extract stir it up and make a glaze then you can just pour the glaze right over your cookie on a rack like this and I'll show you how to do this it just goes on really runny, but this is how you get those really beautiful looking cookies. Okay, you get that all over and then the excess will drip away and that's how you get that smooth coat. Now I've decided that I could make some fun little flowers by taking a paintbrush, a little dot, whoops, you know the, these wipe up actually. I'm gonna lick that, I better eat this cookie. They wipe up pretty easily so you can smooth them out. You could just you probably use a, a wet cotton swab. You don't have to use your finger like I did. Okay, and then just make a dot and pull it away, a dot and pull it away, and you can make a rose with some leaves on either side. With Krylon products, everyone can have the Midas touch. How about that? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that in lot. I like these products. <laughs> oh, I know you do, Catherine. And you know Krylon makes it so fun and easy to Take something very plain, like a wreath, mm -hmm. that, that grapevine wreath that, uh, well, I had like six of them sitting in my garage, and I okay. thought, wait a minute. <laughs> this needs life, and we actually added the copper, the silver, and the gold crafters metallic to this piece. You know, this is so elegant and so perfect for the upcoming holidays, mm -hmm. whether you're giving gifts or you're just earning money, making things for uh, craft yeah. sales and bazaars. This is just going to add some instant elegance. That's right, and you know, uh, the contents in the can will go a long way, mm -hmm. so that's perfect.
perfect for boutique items. These crafters metallics are something mm. that we keep on hand here at the studio every day. So if you see something that's spray painted gold, chances are very good. Yes. It's the it's the crafters metallics. Well, I really enjoyed making the sleigh with all of the craft foam balls mm -hmm. because every time I walk down that aisle, I think, okay, so it's you know there's all these different shapes. What are you going to do with all right. of this craft foam? Well, craft and it's foam great. Is so hard to paint, except yes. if you're using these Krylon paints or Krylon metallics. That's right. Well, the Crafters metallics are compatible, so you can not only spray them onto the craft foam, but you can uh, put it onto silk flowers, dried flowers. And of course, we have a great example right here with the uh, wicker, because this was just a plain wicker sleigh. Well, even this imitation Christmas bow, mm. I have sprayed other metallic spray paints and it's actually dissolved the bow and dissolved oh. the styrofoam but that does not happen yeah. when you use Krylon. Well you know what else I, I just I have to show this off because this okay. really really surprised me this absolutely elegant gift box right here. Beautiful metallic copper. Very nice very oh love the copper. Mm -hmm. Well check this out. Oh <laughs> that's pretty scary Juliana. <laughs> Usually we don't turn things over because we, right. you know, we want to hide that. But this used to be green, and so many times oh. we will get our gifts in these boxes, and then we just toss them to the side. But with this, we don't even need to uh, use any gift wrap. And can I point something out? Yeah. Krylon is the queen or the king <laughs> of giving you caps that yeah. are going to really show you the color. Now, there's an excellent example. Mm, yes. This is so true. I don't know how it's go. coming off on camera. But see, to me, right this there. is exactly the color. So whoops. So this really gives you a it, feel for what you're going to get. It does. OK, so we're going to put that over. And, and here's another example also of the silver, which is what I'm working with. And a clever little way to prepare your surface. Obviously, you always want to protect the area that mm -hmm. you're going to be spraying on. And what I did was I took a piece of old cardboard, um, a little pin right here, and then mm -hmm. I just put it through the cardboard. And then I placed my little oh, ball right so there. So you're not chasing it around with so your fork server. You know what I'm talking about. You've <laughs> you did, done it before. <laughs> yes, we all have. So what we're going to do is spray those. And you want to make sure that the can, you shake it really nice for about one minute. And okay. I did before we, we actually got started here. And then we're going to apply some nice, even strokes back and forth. Okay. So here we go. I just like that it shaking nice it up. Little. It kind of warms up my hands and gets me ready for crafting. Always test also oh. on another surface, and, and it looks great. That Look looks at that. Good. We could actually paint our protective surface we here. Could. All right. So we're just going to go back. And how and fast forth. for styrofoam? That's right. And then I can turn it around. And how great that it's it's styrofoam friendly because so many products are not. And even if you wanted to do a nice little X there, now you can let that dry for about a minute or two and then go back and apply another coat. And then they'll be ready and you can put them into your sleigh and you can make matching gift boxes, which I absolutely really like that idea. Yes. And in fact, you know, I took a, an inexpensive plastic container and sprayed it with the brass and that really came out nice. Mm. Worked very so, well. What colors do you have? There's gold, silver, brass, and our favorite. Mm -hmm. Copper. The oh, color you've got to work with the copper. The year 2000. Yes, I We've think decided. so. We've Julianne decided. and I are making it so. From the horse's mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, both of us. From the crafter's mouth. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Julianne. You're welcome. Coming up next, we have the perfect companion for your scrapbooks. Stay tuned. Looking for a quick handmade project? Use knitted or crocheted motifs to make ornaments, gift tags, and unforgettable cards. You can also use your motifs to embellish clothing. It's time to get those favorite photographs out of those dusty old shoe boxes and into scrapbooks where your family can enjoy and treasure them. Don't you think, Poet? I absolutely agree with you, but we want to make it easy. So, we've got some new things to show you. Oh, I love <laughs> when you visit. You always have so many great things. Tell me about this book, Delightful Companions. Well, Janie Dawson is an artist that we discovered, and we feel really good about her, and she has a very special look. And this is a book of 18 sheets of her papers, acid-free, lignin-free, of course. And then we have Baby, which is a similar look. And I'll show you as we go through these. Again, 16 sheets. And then the cat's meow. And the cat's meow can be for more than kitties. So we'll show you that, too. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see what you've been up to. 
Now these are just precious, Paulette. And what I'd like to point out, this is from Janie Dawson's uh, Delightful Companions, and in her pages, they're coordinated to go together, and as you can see, the, um, the if you look at the, the little design here, you can see yes. how the hearts, they've been picked up in the background, and then if you go up to the Forever Friends, you can see that that background has been put in the companion page. So it makes it so easy to right. put two pages, like a two-page spread, even exactly. if they're separate people and separate things, well, it's some, so great. That's exactly right. So many people want to make their pages, so they coordinate, but to just take the exact same piece of paper is, we thought, a little boring. unimaginative. <laughs> yes, a little boring. So we wanted to make it easy. And in this look, um, it just is so simple to put your photographs in because all the detail work has already been done for you. Oh boy, that sure does take the challenge out of it. Now, how about this Our Garden page? Same thing. You can see the colors from the little motif, the little girl in her garden, have been picked up in the mats in the blue and the yellow. And again, those the border has been picked up from the design, and everything coordinates beautifully. And well, it, I have to say, you are just a helping hand <laughs> when it comes to scrapbooking. Well, we think it's really important, as you said, to get these pages, get oh, these photographs look. out. Aren't they sweet? Oh. You can take, this is the companion page right here, and we've done it just by itself. Again, picking up the colors from the background. And here's one. And I think it's back here further. Um, as you can oh, see, look at that. again, how they coordinate. And here's how it looks when they're made with uh, photographs. So very simply done, but it gets such a wonderful look across. And two simple photographs, taken one right after another, can create an heirloom page that that child and that whole family is going to treasure You're forever. Exactly right. I thought this was cute. Time out for the Sandman, you know, beach, the baby's taking a nap. Uh -huh. It kind of works. <laughs> So this is another good idea where they've taken an X-Acto knife and cut around the edge of the design and then slipped the matted photograph under it. So clever. That really gives you even more options, doesn't it? Does. it? So speaking of more options, want to move on to baby? Uh, yes, <laughs> definitely. Now, in the babies, um, what we have are, again, 16 sheets of paper. What I like about the album page you're seeing now is that it has black and white photos and yet you don't miss the color. That's true. Which is just, I thought, a fun thing to do. And then in the album page above it, where Josh is six months <laughs> old, isn't that a great photo? But again, you can see how the colors are being picked up by the mats around the photographs. Uh -huh. And with babies especially, now you can tell me, do you have a lot of extra time just for laying around and eating bonbons with <laughs> the baby? Only in my imagination, not even in my dreams because I never get a chance to sleep. Well, that works. So what we've done is, it's a similar look. These oh. are different designers, but where there's uh, an image on the page and then how they coordinate so that they can be used, boy or girl, um, any, you know, any motifs. And here we've got some other album pages, as you can see, again, picking up the colors. And just a simple matting just makes these beautiful. And beautifully and tastefully done. But we must see the cat's meow. Thank you. We've got to hurry. Um, t same type of thing where we've got the coordinating pages. And the one thing about cats I wanted to point out is you can do something fun like cat naps, <laughs> but you can also go into birthday or school days or Christmas. It doesn't have to be only for cat lovers. Right. So generic cats, we call oh, them. Oh, <laughs> once again, this is such an exciting offer, a beautiful selection of scrapbooking pages, acid-free, lignin-free, everything you need for perfect scrapbooking. Exactly. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you. Coming up next, you're going to love it. Cindy Camps will be here with some easy window painting. Stay tuned. I am absolutely thrilled to share with you how you can earn thousands of dollars each and every Christmas painting your Christmas windows. Fortunately for us today, we have Cindy Camps here to share her passion and her talent. Well, you'd have to paint somebody else's windows to make thousands of dollars, but Good point. we've got all the tools of the trade today and a couple of great kits that I think your customers are just going to love. I so believe in this because you don't have to have a lot of talent or skill to be able to do this. Zero. Zero talent. <laughs> you don't need to know uh, to be an artist, you need to know the artist's secrets. Oh. And everything is here today in my book and also in the, the Christmas Garland Trim Kit. Now, we do have this great kit today that has 
Oh, why don't you tell us what's in the kit? Oh, it's it's one of my favorite kits, and it's been one of your customers' favorite kits. It features a 12 design booklet, which is 12 of my favorite Christmas designs, garlands and wreaths and uh, beautiful Christmas snow scenes and bells and sprays. Great. And then as a bonus, we've added a stencil and sponge pattern booklet for people that just aren't so secure in drawing, we have added a little help. There's five different tempera paints and uh, five different sponges, five different paint brushes, and glitter, the magic <laughs> ingredient. <laughs> Yay! Now we do have kind of a special deal today because we want to encourage people to buy these books, How to Paint Christmas Windows for Fun and Profit. If they buy that book today, it's like a $10 savings. Right, it used to be $39 and it's only $29 today. Oh and it also takes window painting to the next level. Mm. So if you want to do this for something other than just your own home or business windows, all the business tips, tools of the trade, and all my trade secrets are in this book. I so have to honor you for sharing all of your <laughs> ideas with everyone and, and you're helping kids well, thank you. and getting people to be entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and it's exciting, but let's show everybody how this magic happens and how simple it really is. Well, I have brought uh, one of my favorite designs. It's up on the wall and it's a little wreath with a snow scene in the middle of it. And instead of ornaments today, we put pine cones on it with a big bow in the center. And that's about a 10 or 15 minute job, which could earn you about $30. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. In fact, I'm gonna duplicate that design. You know, we're gonna use a little bit different colors. And if you notice, when you saw the picture, it had a little bit of a stream, mm -hmm. lake in it. Now, isn't that horrible looking? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, it's a blue squiggle. I could make it's a blue squiggle. It's a blue squiggle. But you take some white paint, and you're going to add some snow mounds to this. And you look at it. I've dripped it. You don't even have to be careful with it. This is where the you don't have to be an artist comes in, because children can do this with a little supervision. And it's not perfect by any means. And let's see. How about if we put a little house? Two little strokes. There's the roof. Hey, look at that. There's a mound. Let's put another one on the other <laughs> side. Two little strokes, a mound. And spruce it up. We'll add a little bit of glitter. And what I did to start off with, I made kind of a circle because that's where my wreath is going to go. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing the traditional green, red, and white wreath, we're going to do just the white, and this is one of our famous sponges. You've yes. seen this on the show. Everybody has just loved this sponge. But it starts as a regular sponge, and you just sort of chop it up, right? Oh, right. It, it starts looking like this. It's just plain. And then you cut and pull out little pieces of sponge. And as you can see, the sponges have enough room. You can put two patterns, okay. actually, on one sponge. But to show you just how simple this is, I mean, I'm not really doing anything magical here. I'm just pressing it in the paint and going around this little circle. And pretty much that's it. Now, if you wanted to really make it look even more beautiful and didn't want the traditional colors, how about some pastels? Ooh, wow. And you just bloomed some different paint colors together. It's a shoe polish <laughs> dauber. You know, I mean, I've found um, no, shoe it's a polish. Wind Factory might be calling me. To it's a <laughs> <see> window <laughs> painting tool. Yes, a custom tool. And you know, we actually used to draw these in by hand, but let's add just maybe a little green. Well, just in just a moments, you're creating something just fabulous. Isn't, isn't it? it amazing? I mean, there's just nothing to it. And here we've taken the little leaf sponge again. And how about let's put in a few little trees? Oh, look at that. This is just fabulous. Thank you so much. Well, you're very welcome. Coming up next, it'll be time for Watch and Win. Stay tuned. Here's a clever way for kids to create original cards and gift wrap. Simply use leftover scraps of fun foam to make stamps. Cut out simple designs and glue them to foam core that's just slightly larger than the design. Apply ink or paint, and there you have it, a one-of-a-kind card. 
here for a great time of the show. It's time for Watch and Win, and we've got a great little prize. We do. This is the teapot cookie cutter that you just saw me use, mm -hmm. and it also comes with the blue doily and a tea bag, and the recipe is right inside here. All so right. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's a $6.99 value, and... Oh, you going to pick? Sure. <laughs> Surely you are. <laughs> um, can't wait, can't wait. Hey, whoa. This is from Gail Krasinski from Buffalo, New York. All right, Gail. Congratulations, Gail. <laughs> and it also says, when I'm working, I tape your show, and I can't wait to get home to watch it. Otherwise, I'm glued to the TV for the hour. Can't get enough inspiration. <laughs> How cute. Well, thank you, Gail. Call us up anytime today at 1-800-825-3363 to claim your little teapot and make some cute little cookies. Yes, and invite us over. We'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about tomorrow's show for just a minute. We have a new way to display your beanbag toys. I think I'm going to do that one. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Get inspired with new ideas for photo transfers. And quilters, we have the tool that you have been looking for. We want to wish all of you a happy Veterans Day. Have oh. a great day and we'll see you later. I want to tell my brother Mike happy birthday. Ooh, okay. okay. Happy birthday, Mike. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.